Hey, what's going on? It's Ian Hart here from EarthFitTraining.com and Back Pain Relief for Life. I'm a strength and conditioning specialist and also back pain relief specialist. So what I want to go over today is how you can really control your health and one vital piece that's missing in most people's lives when it comes to them being at optimal health. So there's two parts to this and I'm going to explain both sides as best as I can and this will help you to increase your vitality and actually um, almost everything in your life, every aspect of your life, once you understand these two concepts. So it can not only uh, just make you more calm and relaxed, but actually have you plan your life out better, and then also make you healthier in terms of losing weight, um, feeling less stressed. So there's a bunch of things here. So. What I'm going to explain to you today is the parasympathetic and the sympathetic nervous systems. They're both systems that we work with on a daily basis. Hopefully you work with both of them on a daily basis. Many people today are only working under one and this can be dangerous and this can cause and lead to a lot of things like pain, um, being upset, emotional imbalance, all those things. So, and it flows into every aspect of your life. So the parasympathetic is the rest and digest part of your nervous system. The sympathetic is the fight, flight, and freeze aspect of your nervous system. Parasympathetic is typically you're, you're responding to something, so you're thinking about it, you're able to think about it, it ends up in your prefrontal cortex, so the frontal lobe of your brain, you can actually think about it and then make a response. Whereas Fight, flight, freeze is typically a reaction. So we have uh, what's called the, the reptilian brain, which is down by the spinal cord. That's one of the first parts of your brain that develops in the fetus. This part of the brain is purely survival. It's a survival mechanism. So, uh, 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 and I learned a lot of this from somebody called somebody by the name of Dax Moy. And one of the examples he gave is if someone stood behind you with a gun and you had no idea they were there and they shot it off into the air, you would respond by a startled stance, running, freezing, or fighting the person. So if you are reacting to something, you're in the sympathetic nervous system. You're typically under threat. So if there's a threat present, you're in the sympathetic nervous system. Your body's trying to figure out it's reacting to fight, flight, freeze. When you're in rest and digest, you're typically in love, happiness, peace. Not only that, in terms of a health level, it enables you to access nutrition because it dilates the blood vessels in the intestinal tract. So think about it. If you're in a stressed out, threatened environment and you're trying to eat, blood's being sent to the muscles in the working part of your body and it's taken it away from your digestive system so the acids aren't produced to digest your food therefore you're not absorbing the nutrients that you need which is reducing your health uh, you're not get, your bones aren't getting the nutrients that's why osteoporosis occurs that's why a lot of things it can cascade into numerous things so if you're under threat and you're under stress you're under anxiety all day every day you're going to be in parasympathetic all day, every day. So you're just continually staying in parasympathetic where when your body is designed for sympathetic, parasympathetic, sympathetic, parasympathetic, sympathetic, parasympathetic. So it should constantly be going back and forth on these two uh, nervous system uh, areas. So parasympathetic, like I said, occurs in the prefrontal cortex. It allows you to thrive. It allows you to plan out your lifestyle, to think about how you want to create your life. It's something that only humans have. We can actually project out into the future and think what we want, how we want our lives. But we can't do that if we're constantly under threat and using the back part of our brain. So if we're waking up every day and we got to think about how we're going to get food, how we got to do the, the make money to survive how we're going to do the get to the next day we can't thrive we can't think past the next move we're in constant survival mode so we want to get to the parasympathetic nervous system as often as possible 
Uh, and we want to be able to use both interchangeably. We need the sympathetic nervous system, but we also want to be able to thrive and respond in our life rather than react. So we can predict a little bit better with the parasympathetic nervous system. Using the sympathetic nervous system, we're just reacting. So how does this relate to your life? Well, you might be, you might analyze yourself and find that you are in sympathetic nervous system throughout the day. So there's things that you can do that just simple things that will activate your parasympathetic nervous system, allow you to relax and then feel free to enjoy your life, enjoy its no stress. So the next video I'm going to share just a few techniques that will allow you to absolutely tap into your parasympathetic nervous system like that. So again, this is Ian Hart with Back Pain Relief for Life and EarthFitTraining.com on the parasympathetic and sympathetic nervous system. If you have any comments or questions, go ahead and leave them below. And the next video will be about how you can activate your parasympathetic nervous system in just a couple uh, seconds, actually. A few little things you can do right now to access that.